We began the Calf to Carbon initiative in August 2015. Uh, the plan for this was to reduce calf mortality on farm and improve growth rates. We initially recruited 12 farms across the UK where we could track 10 calves from birth through to calving into the herd, ideally by 24 months of age. That data and that information we know is crucial. We know from a calf health point of view they're better off calving in by 24 months, but we also know from a financial point of view it's highly beneficial. When we go to the cost, actually that 10 days across his herd... Through these on-farm meetings we ran every three months, we looked at many issues including genomics, early calf nutrition, health and transition management to ensure that heifer enters the dairy herd in the best condition possible. We decided to get involved with the Calf to Calving programme as we saw it as an opportunity to get uh, HDB involved in a project in the northeast of Scotland and we just thought it would be an interesting way to refocus our calf rearing enterprise. We were just hoping to try and fine tune the details of our calf heifer rearing, trying to just find ways of doing things better, getting some really interesting speakers on farm to see what we're doing and how we can improve. When we started the programme, we wondered if local farmers would come along and if anyone would benefit from the programme. And we've always been amazed at the turnout. It's always been good and everyone is prepared to openly discuss the problems and successes. And that has been a real good sharing experience. Farmer to farmer is the best way of sending and learning knowledge. The main ones that were of interest to us were um, the cluster management. Um, regularly weighing, which is something we weren't doing prior to getting involved with the calf calving programme and how important that is so that we can get involved and intervene early to ensure that the, car, the heifers that are falling behind target we can make some management changes and find out what, what we can do to improve on that side of things. The weighing we've changed, we've actually got calf scales now. We got people to guess the weight of calves and miles out, the advice that we had at the time, miles out, so if we'd listened to what he thought we would have had completely the wrong um, feeding regime. We can set our ration up at the start of winter and then we can assess what growth rates we're getting and then we can fine tune that and whether we need to increase or decrease that ration accordingly. Um, so I think knowing how your heifers are growing and adjusting the, the ration to suit their needs. Calves were a forgotten extra um, and that was very much on a dairy farm, you know, somebody does the calves and not. But now we have a protocol in place and there's a list, everyone knows exactly what happens, exactly what happens when a cow calves, how much colostrum's given and in the calf shed that the protocol is paramount to stop infection. Prior to the programme our heifer colostrum management wasn't good enough so we weren't, we weren't measuring our colostrum from our cows and our heifers so we didn't really know what the good colostrum was and what the bad colostrum was. So now we're measuring colostrum with a refractometer and we make sure we've got a clean dump bucket that we just use for the colostrum. It's then bagged into Pacific colostrum bags and we mark it up so that we know if it's good colostrum or a poorer colostrum. It's then taken up to our calf shed where we've got some ice blocks, frozen water bottles with ice and we dump them in a cold bucket of water with the colostrum bag so that gets the colostrum cold quickly. And then we, we put it into the freezer and we store it there ready for when we use it. We've then got a water bath so we can defrost the colostrum quickly within 45 minutes to an hour so that we can make sure we get the colostrum into the heifers within sort of two to three hours. By better management we're saving on treatments and vet bills and our aim is to lose nothing as soon as it enters the calf shed. My piece of advice would be attention to detail, uh, invest in your time in weighing your heifers making sure your colostrum's of good quality and that it's been frozen quickly and cleanly so that they're getting the best possible start. And we've found that if you can get the heifers on weight and on target in the first six and 12 months, if you get that right in the first year, then everything follows on nicely from there. The key messages that I've taken from calf to calving are numerous. Certainly the genomics aspect has been one of them and also calf health is obviously key and the weighing of calves to get them to the right weight to calve at 24 months. I think what we've changed during the uh, period has been that although we were quite good at calving them at 24 months, we hadn't quite appreciated how important that weight, the target weight was, not only at breeding, but also at calving and the impact on the subsequent lactation following that. For us, the, the major learning, though, was the importance of ventilation in our calf 
accommodation. We changed the ventilation system and put in one of these uh, pipe ventilation systems and that has really improved the environment for the calves. And it's been such a success that we saw mortality drop almost instantly within the herd and we're really pleased to report that in the last four months we haven't had a single death within our calf to heifer uh, program. So the vital part about calf to calving was to ensure we see real change on farm and the numbers speak for themselves. Farmers who calve all year round and took part in calf to calving calf two months earlier on average, saving an estimated £170 per calf. Nearly 70% of those participating farmers invested in a clostrometer or refractometer or weighing equipment. Farmers measuring growth rates of calves increased from 22% to 94%. 88% of farmers said their heifer management and performance as a result of participating in calf to calving had improved. Off the back of the calf to calving initiative, we've come up with six top tips for you to achieve successful heifer rearing. Firstly, targets. Do you know the weight of your mature herd? You need to weigh some third and fourth calvers around 120 days calved to ensure that your heifers are then achieving 85% of that mature weight when they first calved into the herd. Three cues. When we're talking about colostrum management, you need to make sure you're providing top quality, quantity and as quickly as possible. You need to make sure you're measuring that quality of colostrum with a refractometer to make sure those heifers are getting the best start in life. Cost. We know there's a huge range in the industry when it comes to rearing heifers, but for every day over 24 months before they calve, it's costing you an extra £2.87. Attention to detail. We know that that attention to detail is key when it comes to environment and looking after those calves to make sure they stay healthy. Protocols. Make sure no matter who's looking after your calves, whether it be yourself or your herd manager, those calves always receive the same attention to detail and same level of care. Measure to manage. The only way you're going to achieve successful heifer rearing is by measuring and managing and monitoring your progress when it comes to weighing and looking after those heifers. There's a huge amount of resource on the AHDB Dairy website to help you achieve these targets.